Cover your face with both hands when you sneeze. You never know when a pathogen has fastened on your head. That's mom talking. As usual, she's forcing herself on us and in us. She must control our reflex motions. Mom must micromanage the gases and moisture that exit our faces. She gets fidgety and unfulfilled unless occupying other creatures, sinuses, and limbs. The gluttonous. I object to being mothered by a creature so ravenous, if intermittently shapely. And I'm sure my dear Siblet would agree if the sad child were still able to mull more than half a notion inside of what remains of her mind. As for the more explicitly testicular of our parents, who knows where absent dad would come down on this issue. Mom and pathogens are the sole topics he refuses to discuss in secret letters from across the Judeo-Euphrates River where he has defected to please himself behaving like a traitor infidel among the relic Amalekites. In Dad's absence, Mom's favorite way to rape us of self-possession is immune system anxiety. She has taken the germ theory and twisted it into pre-moistened masochist porn. Her term for any well-being threat is pathogen. Not just bacteria and viruses, not merely lice and tapeworms, but psychosomatosis, connective tissue sprain, clinical depression, poor social connectivity, sulfurous flatulence, scrotal and or labial fatigue from excessive maestrobation, as she taught us to mispronounce it. All of these are brought on by pathogens, this is according to the fascist conjurus, whom we are expected to call, for lack of a less inappropriate moniker, Mom. And yet, in spite of the pan-systemic pathogens that lurk everywhere, Mom was somehow persuaded, presumably by Dad, to grunt me out into this world, and to perform the same disservice for my emotionally vegetative little sissy. One after the other, Mom extruded the pair of us. She dragged our naked spirits down from the gritty smog overhead and enfleshed us, emboned us, left us to languish dadlessly on the planetary crust, bug vulnerable and liable at any moment to succumb to the sneeze catastrophic.